How is it going everyone? Welcome back to another CSS battle video. My name is Cody Seibert and you're watching a web dev junkie video. In this one, we are gonna try to build out number 34, which I believe is called Christmas Tree. So listen up, if you're new to CSS battle, it's a fun web page you can go to basically challenge your CSS knowledge by building out these cool shapes with CSS and HTML. So I definitely recommend you stick around and watch how I build out this Christmas tree. But again, you should try it for yourself because you actually want to learn, right? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is there is a trick you can do to build out triangles. And it's all re related to like border, um, left, right, bottom, and top. And the trick for this one is we can give the border right zero pixels. I'll give it like 20 pixels solid transparent like a type transparent and then for the left I could do the same thing let's increase this like 50 pixels and then border bottom could be 50 pixels solid and I want to add a color to it so I'm going to do this first color and see how that looks all right so I think we just need to increase the border bottom a little bit so instead of 50 I'll do 100 um, and see how that looks and then we can also give a border left of 100 as well and a border right of 100. Um, maybe we need to actually give one of these something else. Maybe we need more height. Maybe that's how you do it. There you go. All right, so actually the trick is, I think the width and the height of your rectangle need to be zero. Yeah, I think they need to be zero, so I'll do that. And that is basically how you can do it. Now the background we're gonna get rid of, and now we have a triangle. So the second thing I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and like add a background to the body. So I'll copy that color in and we should have a nice looking background. And then we want to try to get this to be positioned where it is on the right. So how can we do that? Well, in this case, I could just do Flexbox and center it, but I'm going to do the easiest way I know to save some characters and just go ahead and position it with margin. So the first argument is going to be your margin top. The second argument is your margin left. And if I move it to 70 or 80, maybe that'll give us in a good position. But you can see that our triangle is a little too small compared to this one. So let's try to bump up the size to like 150. That's probably too big. We'll try 125. All right, that's still too much. So this will probably take some uh, finagling around with. Let's try doing like different values for the border bottom. I think that should make it like higher up or something. Well, this is going to be a hard one to figure out, I think. 120 we'll try 100 uh, let's try 110 yeah I'm not sure what value this needs to be <laughs> this is let's just try 110 you can see our triangle is a little bit too um, steep so I wonder if maybe the width needs to be more so let's just try doing like 120 again I don't know, I think that might be okay. Let's just try to move it down some. To like you know, 70 pixels and see if that's in the right position. Nope. Do 60. Do 50. Okay, okay, okay. Man, that's so close. I think it's off by something. The so R's needs to be moved over to the left some, I believe. Ours is just too big. Let's try 115. And then we can move it over to the left again. This challenge sucks. <laughs> Dude, okay, still, it's like... All right, forget this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center this. So I'm gonna say display a flex on the body. I'm gonna say justify content of center. I'm gonna say align items of center. That's just so we can kind of figure out how to position this. Get rid of the margin. And then we are gonna move this up some. So I'm gonna say position a relative. I'm gonna say top of negative 20 pixels and keep on moving this up until we get it where we wanna be. That looks good. Um, again, our triangle is like off by a little bit. Ours is too narrow, I think. So I don't know what we can do. I mean, we could, it's obviously one of these has to be changed to be the right value. If I make it all 100, what does it look like? See, that looks kind of messed up. Let's try 130, 130. Okay, 125. Wow, that was hard. All right, so we finally got that div going. That, I think that looks perfect. 
but I guess the moment of truth will happen when we submit this style. So let's move on to the other one. So obviously the triangles are all gonna have the same shape. Okay, so at this point, I think we could just kind of copy and paste these, the style. So I'm gonna do basically um, another div. Here's a cool little technique that I've started doing is instead of using divs, you can do a paragraph tag and you don't need to actually put the closing brace, I believe. And I could style this. And then if I wanted to add another one, I could just add another paragraph tag and put like an, an identifier on it. So I could say A, so I could say P of A is going to be the same stuff. But in this case, we're gonna make this one P A and this one P of B. All the paragraph tags are gonna be the same thing. I look okay. Let me move that back. I'm kind of screwing some stuff up here. That looks better. Kind of. Can't tell if that's good. This might be off by like one pixel. I can't really tell. But if all the paragraphs look like that, what I can basically do is take the top and put it on P of A. And then for P of B, I'm going to just change the color in the top. I'm not really explaining what I'm doing that well. This one's actually kind of like a hard challenge. So this one, I'm gonna move down even further. I'm gonna change the color of it to this color. So let's say background of this. And, sorry, not background. I need to change the border color of that. Border bottom color. Of that. Now, unfortunately, the way we have it lined up in the DOM, they're gonna be out of order. So I'm gonna move that one first and put it behind. And then I'm gonna say B of C. And we are just gonna style another paragraph tag. Did I say B of C? I meant P of C. Been a long day. All right, so let's just go ahead and add 120 to it, 130, and change the bottom or the yeah the bottom color to that. All right, so let's just go ahead and submit this and see uh, what score we get. This one was actually kind of difficult, so I'm gonna submit it, and we got back a 603. Alright, so we got 100% match. Be sure to check out my other CSS battle videos if you're new to this channel. This video is part of a series of different CSS battles, so if you're interested in improving your CSS skills, check them out.